how's it guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a beauty one and it's kind of going to be trying out a product with you so it's really going to be raw and honest it's a product i've never tried before it's really hyped up and i really love the concept and the idea of it but i'm going to be honest with you guys if it doesn't work or not because i'm a girl that loves makeup and we all know that part of the makeup process is removing makeup and cleansing at night, which can be such a schlep. So last year, Lash Cosmetics brought out um, the 7 to 3 cleansing wipe, which is similar to their 9 to 5 cleansing um, balm. But it's completely biodegradable, sustainable, eco-friendly, vegan, all of those things. And so you basically like don't need to use the traditional like cotton pad according to them um so it looks like this let me show you guys how it looks it almost feels like a really really thin soap <laughs> so um it smells like your typical sort of lush product and basically you like wet it and then you put it all over your face it's supposed to remove your makeup and then they say you can use like a um, face cloth or a towel um, but i'm going to test it with some micellar water afterwards and see how it um how it worked did it take off a lot of my makeup so i have foundation on now it's nothing like too heavy it's not a night look but it's a day look so we will be able to see a lot with the eyes and the foundation if it was effective or not so i've pulled it up on the website and they describe it as a so I pulled up on their website, it says, if you're looking for biodegradable face wipes, look no further. The convenience of a face wipe meets the luxury of 9 to 5 cream cleanser with none of the waste. This is a reusable biodegradable cleanser and makeup remover that feels gentle while working hard to clarify and balance your skin. So it contains fresh dove orchid infusion to gently de deeply cleanse, lang lang oil uh, for the scent and to balance the skin and uh, carrageenan extract to, to thicken and stabilize the product while providing moisture. So I watched a tutorial on how to use this, the lash tutorial that they provided, and basically you're going to splash your face with water, wet one side of the pad, glide it over in circular motion, and then remove by like sweeping with a, a wet cleansing wipe. So then basically you would wipe it with a towel or a cleansing wipe. I'm not so comfortable with using a towel on my eyes because it's a rough so i'll probably use one of these and then i've got one more to test so it's going to be a little bit hard to film this in my bathroom so i've just got this bowl of warm water and um, i'm going to first splash my face with this basically so that the surface area of your face is wet this could be messy business but let's just try it anyway so I can feel that my makeup isn't like super thick. So I would like to try this again on a day where, you know, I was wearing a very heavy look. So this is just like a day makeup look. So I'm basically going to take the bowl and I'm going to dip this half in. So as you can see, as I showed you guys earlier, it is a really thin, it looks like a cotton pad, but it's a lot thicker and it's hard. It's not soft. So I'm going to dip it in halfway. I'm dipping it a few times for good luck. Okay, let's, let's start. So basically we're gonna go rub this in circular motions. You can see a little bit of like dirt is starting to pick up on the cotton pad. It actually smells really good. I love the 9 to 5 cleanser. So this is like based off a similar formulation and concept. I've got a, my brows are colored in. So we should be able to see the, the color coming out. There goes my eyebrows. <laughs> it looks really freaky. It's really interesting. Like this thing actually has pores. And you can actually see the makeup like almost being absorbed in the pores. Which is really interesting it's almost like you, you see little dots there with my eyebrow color going in there so it's dried out a little bit so i don't know if that's normal or not so i'm just going to dip it in again and now i can actually really see the color change with the makeup the line you can see there with the makeup so it does dry out that's something that you need to just be careful just note dries out pretty quickly so I haven't like touched my eyes so I touch my eyes and try so this is not waterproof mascara 
yeah we can see there's a bit of smudge action happening there so this is like weird it's like bendy but my nail is breaking a little bit that is something to just to take note of i'm just gonna add a little bit more water to my face because my face feels a little bit dry okay so then you could probably also like move to maybe like just facial massage because you can see like it is actually able to break down the makeup like really well which is awesome <laughs> so i think that's cool what i'm going to do is that should be enough i'm going to rinse my face in this and i'm just going to dab it gently with this <laughs> wow my face though so this water is lukewarm and something that i have found with balms and stuff that if the water is hotter it does work a little bit better um so that could be something to try like next time this this is like trying it here but if i try it in like a base and hot water it is a bit stingy on the eyes that's just something to note if your eyes are sensitive because my eyes are like i'm struggling to open them okay so face looking a little bit messy okay so on the tutorial video they suggested taking like a um, face cloth and just wetting it slightly and then just like using it to gently touch your skin i don't want to like rub at my skin personally so i am going to do this very gently so you can see there's still quite a lot of mascara under my eyes um what could help is to use a cotton swab straight away um while the oil is still like wet on your skin okay so now i've just wet it and let me there you go there's quite a lot of residue coming off okay it's quite it is a little bit stingy on the eyes so that is just something just to just to take note of okay so this is how the lush wipe looks after i've used it and then i'm just going to use some micellar water and i just want to see how much residue is actually left on my face i'm actually really interested to see like what is remaining Okay, so what is left is quite dark. I don't know if you guys can see this very well on the video. Um, in that, I think what has been left behind is like the mascara residue that's run down onto the cheek. So that was mostly coming from the cheek area specifically. Whereas when I used the cotton pad over like the mouth and the lips, there was not too much residue. I think that this will work really nicely as like your pre-cleanse and then if you are going to do a cleanser afterwards again so for me this wouldn't be enough to like take off 100% of my makeup but this would actually work quite nicely as a pre-cleanse actually and then I'll use another cleanse just to make sure that there's any residue like any residue is gone so yeah this cotton pad really sucks but in terms of the amount of product on here it doesn't look too dark at all so that's like just like really cleaning up the face and making sure that um everything is gone like for me that's not terrible it could be a lot worse like that's really not bad actually um considering the fact that i did a foundation of my whole face um i would be really happy to use this as a pre cleanse okay awesome so that is the testing of the lush 73 cleanser i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i think that this is actually such a great option if you are traveling i mean it's absolutely tiny you could keep it in one of these little uh, paper bags that lush products come in or you could get like a nice little capsule to keep it in it's so travel friendly it's completely eco-friendly and biodegradable which is amazing if you guys don't know face wipes not cotton wipes face wipes specifically are so bad for the environment and so many get flushed down toilets and drains all over the world so if you are wanting to be a bit more eco-conscious this is actually such a fabulous option um i'm gonna keep trying it i'll probably feature it in some later videos and on my instagram so if you want to like touch base a little bit further down the road you can but thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a comment um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i will see you guys in my next video bye